Welcome to the Reflective Leader. I'm Tony Marchese, and I'm joined by Doug Walters. Good morning, good day, good afternoon. <laughs> All right. Well, it's great to be here to, uh, to do another program. And while I think all of our programs are a little bit different, today it's going to be really different. It is. And we're going to really put I'm, you I'm on the spot. I'm afraid. <laughs> You're afraid. I really am afraid. Yeah. It, it, this is going to look quite different. Uh, today, uh, we are going to celebrate your professional legacy. One of the things that I've, I've talked to you about for the last month or two is that I'd love to sit down with you in this setting and to talk about your your life and, and in particular your your professional journey right. and you mentioned about a week or two ago that you were reflecting and you realized that you've been in education now for 20 years oh I uh, oh, thank you sir <laughs> I, pr I appreciate that very much no I, w I was doing a workshop uh, several weeks ago um, in the southern cold fields with an after-school uh, staff uh, that's part of a, the 21st century program that uh, is run in the uh, throughout uh, the nation and so I was doing a, a, a workshop with the um, uh, after-school teachers and, and enrichment leaders and all at once there was something that I said that triggered a thought and I stopped in in the middle of my pre presentation and it hit me that at the end of May I completed 50 years of teaching and being in education and I it caused me to pause and uh, and my audience uh, was uh, was wonderful the way they reacted they thought I was joking uh, and uh, uh, some of them didn't think that uh, uh, I could have possibly been that uh, uh, old nor <laughs> in the business for 50 years and uh, but yes sir 50 years well I did not uh, work with you to create um, the questions that I want to ask you today. Um, I gave them to you uh, late last night. I, I think you've had a chance to look at them. But, I have. But I, I really, have. these are some things that I really felt like um, I wanted to know about, uh, but I also thought that our viewers might enjoy hearing as well. So we're here to celebrate you well, and, you. and your uh, 50 years of, of service to the profession of education and to talk about your journey, to talk about areas where you think you've had um, the greatest impact and I, I know that um, that you have plans for the future and I'd like to talk about some of those and what those look like Doug so let's start by talking about your journey to the profession how did you come to work in education well you know um, back uh, as I would say to my my children uh, I would say uh, back in the dark ages uh, <laughs> uh, I graduated from undergraduate school in uh, 1965 and uh, had gotten um, was fortunate to have scholarships uh, to go to school and I um, uh, at first was a, a pre-law major and then um, I decided eh, I'm not sure that I want to do that so I became an education major but I but I kept my options open by having a major outside of education also in, in political science and French, French literature uh, to be exact. And, um, and so when, when I graduated, um, I knew that I had an obligation to, to begin to give back. And so I started teaching and um, uh, made the decision, a very conscious decision to teach. And I've never, very honestly, Tony, have never looked back and regretted that decision because it created the first pathway to who I've become. You know, our last show we talked about on becoming. I, I believe that I'm still in the process of becoming. Mm -hmm. And um, so, um, 65, and that's when I started. I, I, I uh, have always had the gift of gab, and as my grandmother would have said, and I always was able to relate uh, to young people so I felt drawn to that. In terms of the positions, uh, types of positions that you've held, there, there, there's been quite a variety. Yes. Um, from classroom teacher to administrator. Right, right. Well, you, you know, one, one of the journeys that I had was uh, in the classroom uh, for um, a number of years, six years to be exact, um, teaching uh, in a junior high school. Uh, they were called that at that point. Mm -hmm. 
and um, and at the uh, at the end of my sixth, uh, toward the end of the, my sixth year of teaching, um, I uh, was um, selected uh, by uh, the school system uh, in the, in this case Conall County, and um, uh, to be nominated for a fellowship uh, uh, to Indiana University, and um, and it was a special program uh, to uh, create, um, there were 11 of us selected from across the country to be a part of um, um, uh, a Kellogg Fellowship. And that fellowship was in change, the, the, the whole concept of change theory. And, um, and so you, you were able to get a master's degree in change, but each of us had an opportunity to major in a subfield, and I majored in anthropology because I was always intrigued about, by that. Well, part of the obligation from, that I had was to come back uh, to the Kanawha County Schools after finishing my master's degree and doing some field work uh, through, uh, in Indiana, was to come back and uh, be an in-house trainer as well as a teacher on uh, effective processes. Uh, in, the, in the classroom. So I did that for a couple of years um, in a sort of a blended way uh, to help um, uh, pay back the school system with my time in doing that. And, um, and then that led uh, me to some administrative positions over the years from community education um, uh, to uh, central office uh, uh, administrator uh, in a variety of settings. And, um, and that was sort of like a pathway that branched off of my work with my masters because one of the things I found out was that when I started doing the training with teachers, I was fairly good at that. And so one of the roles and maybe one of the most important roles for me in my growth was that for a number of years, I was in charge of professional development for the entire school system. Um, at a time, you know, when we had 50,000 students and 5,000 employees, and all the way from the superintendent to custodians. So I learned about the elements of training, the elements of what needs to, uh, to go into effective programming to, to make change, and used my change experience is in doing that. And we did a terrific job, had a great number of, uh, of individuals and, and teacher and um, um, service staff trainers that we were trained over that time period that really made a huge impact in the school system. And I know that uh, eventually you ended up leaving um, the Kanawha County Schools and you ended right. up uh, going on and uh, working in um, post-secondary education. I did, I and, did. Uh, and did that as well. Yeah, w one of the things that happened uh, during um, um, all of those years with Kanawha County Schools, which was about 32 years, um, I um, also was an adjunct professor uh, at the University of Charleston, West Virginia State, and uh, Marshall, or at that time it was called the College of Graduate Studies. And so I can, even though I was in an administrative setting, um, I still used what I thought were some of my finest skills uh, to teach. And then uh, I retired early and um, went to the University of Charleston as uh, Dean of Students and, um, and had a tremendous experience there. Um, I uh, thought I knew everything about education uh, because I've been in it so long, uh, but this was one of the few times in my life I went on board and had to, to learn anew. Um, and, and it allowed me to figure out exactly how important ongoing or becoming was. And uh, so I spent a number of years there. And then you ended up, um, after you retired again, you That's ended right. up uh, uh, going on and, and doing consulting, which I know that you do, you do now. Yes.